SEO has been my bread and butter for over 15 years, and I have generated millions of signups for different startups in B2B space. But last year, I made a total switch from SEO to AI marketing, specifically using AI to build automations, workflows, and agents that help marketers and entrepreneurs to grow faster. And many people ask me, why did I make the switch from SEO to AI systems? And today I'm going to tell you why exactly I made this decision. It's definitely not an easy one, because SEO grew so many companies that I worked with. It gave the underdogs the opportunity to go against the bigger companies and win. And it would be so much easier to keep going because I have the experience, the results to show and the clients that I could continue working with. But knowing what I know and seeing what's coming, I just couldn't do it with a straight face. So let me tell you why I came to this decision. So first SEO. Why I'm not focused on this anymore is because of the diminishing returns that it's seeing. Ask anyone doing SEO on a bigger scale and everybody is seeing their traffic dropping every month. It's signups, it's leads, it's revenue. And why this happens is because people don't trust text-based content anymore. AI has made it so simple to create content like this one that just reuses the same information that is out there, creates those fake looking AI images and doesn't add any value. Why should we trust it? So that's why in 2025 and beyond, it's so hard to build trust with the text-based content. You have to have a really trustworthy domain, consistently great content, expert writers, and not that they are experts in writing, but they have to be experts in the field they're writing about. So this is an uphill battle for all new companies who are just starting to build their brand and thinking they should start investing more in SEO. And another problem that causes the diminishing returns is that people don't trust Google results anymore. And instead of Google, we are all now using AI search engines way more. So if I search for a good SEO strategy for 2025 in Perplexity AI, then I'm getting the AI answer that combines different sources. And I don't have any good reason to click on these individual sources and their websites. And it's not just perplexed AI. Google is giving those AI answers more and more. So this game is definitely over. And it brings me to the other reason why I'm quitting on SEO. It's not for the underdogs anymore. A big part of why I was so drawn to SEO as a strategy was because it gave the underdogs the opportunity to go against the really big players and win against them. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. I have always worked with companies that have limited resources, small teams, and really big goals. And a really clever SEO strategy with great content could make or break a company. But seeing what is happening right now, because of AI, this is simply not the case anymore. The main way how I made those underdogs win was using topical authority strategy. And topical authority strategy involves covering all of those hundreds or even thousands of topics that are related to your target group and your product. So lots of informational and educational content. For example, I worked in Toggle, which is a time tracking tool. So what is time tracking? Why do you need time tracking? Best time tracking tool, best ways for freelancers to make money when selling hourly consulting and so on. And right now what's happening with AI search results, eating away all of those clicks, there's simply no point in creating informational or educational content anymore. There's, there is still a place for bottom of the funnel or mid funnel content, but there is more potential if you're doing a video first strategy, but you can check those strategies out on the other videos on my channel. And one more big thing that I'm seeing more and why I'm not excited about this space anymore, the fact that there are so many scammers overcrowding the SEO space now, and they are either selling really outdated SEO strategies, promising unrealistic results, or if they are implementing AI systems, I see so many lazy and ineffective content strategies that have ruined businesses' domains and trust in their brand. And what I mean by lazy and ineffective AI implementation, these are the one prompt AI blog posts that get no edits. And even if they get edits, they are so minimal that they don't build any additional trust. And so it has become really hard for me to offer strategies and tactics that actually work if the other guy is promising something in half the time and 10 times the results. So everybody wants to think that you don't have to work as hard anymore because AI is doing all the work, but actually you have to know how to work with it. You still have to put effort into it and sometimes even more effort because you have to learn to do things a new way. And so basically these are all the things that made me fall out of love of SEO. Of course, for more established companies, there are still SEO strategies that I'm implementing, that I believe in, but overall SEO field is definitely suffering right now. And I think everybody needs to adopt new strategies, new ways of thinking about growth and how to do it. And so next, let's talk about why I pivoted to AI systems and why I have created this community, AI Marketing Masters, where I'm sharing different types of practical AI use cases 
with advanced prompts that get your content 90% there and you only need to do minimal edits. The reason is that AI systems allow underdogs to win again. This is something that was true for SEO 10 and 15 years ago, and now I see the potential in AI. The reason is that you can do way more with less resources. So if you're smart about it, you can have one marketer doing the job of five people. And that's because most of the marketing work is about content output, especially quality content output. And with AI systems and really advanced prompts, you can then next that. And then your one marketing person can focus more on the strategy and the creativity of it. And another really exciting part is that AI empowers non-techies like me to have a way bigger impact that was possible before. So before, when I was working in-house, I always had to work with the developers here and there to get some basic marketing templates or browser calculators or whatever resources done. It always took so much time and so much effort to get the developers excited about those projects. But now I can do it on my own. So basically, I can create better content assets and in way less time So because I can do it on my own. For example, I can use Claude AI to ask it the ROI calculator for AI marketing services. And it's writing the whole code for me. And there is a lot of code. And otherwise, it would take me weeks, if not months. And just look what it came up with. It has so many inputs. It's really thorough. And I only gave it one simple prompt. And I can use this on my landing page now. And it's crazy how it took less than a minute for me to do it. While before I would have to get at least one developer to get excited about your project, and then it might still take weeks to get it implemented and actually live. So that's why I feel so much more empowered with AI. But that's not all because I also can vibe go to business in a weekend. I don't have to just do marketing resources. I actually use Lovable quite a lot. So lovable.dev, you can just give a prompt about the business you want to create. And, and for example, here's a website that I created about my new business. It looks amazing and it uses all of my input, but creates the whole design, the code, everything based on the best copywriting and conversion techniques. It even came up with a price and it all looks amazing. And I can use these coding tools, not just to create websites, but full dashboards, full SaaS businesses. And I have another video about this, how I built the full content SaaS in one weekend. So check this out on my channel as well. But yeah, it feels amazing to not just be a marketer, but now I can fulfill my entrepreneurial dreams way easier as well. But the main reason why I switched to AI is that I saw that this will definitely transform all work as we know it now, at least white collar jobs. And either you like it or not, this is going to happen. So on one hand, I see that there is a massive unemployment wave coming in, and this is going to affect tech jobs the most. So either I'm going to wait for this to take my job and my income, or I'm going to embrace it and find ways to use it. And on the other side of the coin, there are lucrative wealth creation opportunities, especially for early adopters, because then you can see how you can use this technology to create better businesses, to have more value for the clients that you're working with. And it also allows you to create something new in the world that could potentially help a lot of people. So really the choice is yours. Either you're going to ignore it or you're going to embrace it. I chose to embrace it. And if you want to embrace it too, then join me at AIMarketingMasters.com and get all of the shortcuts to AI Marketing Mastery. See you next week. Bye.